Hello and welcome to my channel for my contribution to this mixed media YouTube hub. This tutorial comes with a PDF that you can find in the comment box below and that includes a list of supplies used and the face drawing you see here. You are joining me at this point in the process where I have transferred the image to my journal page using graphite and a ballpoint pen. I traced it with a purple waterproof pen and erased the remaining pencil lines. Now I'm going to use a stencil and waterproof ink to add some pattern to the background. This stencil and the stamps that I will be using are designed by Dutch artist Julia Woning for Pronti Crafts. Julia has generous, generously offered a set of stencils and stamps as part of her giveaway. While that dries, I make some embellishments that I will glue on later. On the left, I repeat the background technique and on the right, I stamp two birds using foam stamps also designed by Julia and included in the price package. I then grab a leaf-shaped foam stamp and make fairy wings out of them. I use some paper to mask areas I don't want to accidentally stamp on. Next I grab my favorite water-soluble markers, Ecolina brush pens by Royal Talents. I add a first layer of color where I know there is shadow and blend it to avoid harsh lines. Then I put some color on my craft mat, pick it up from there and fill in the rest with a lighter version. While that dries, I start working on the hair. For some reason this color on this paper isn't really blending well, but that is not a problem. I simply put some on my craft sheet and pick the color up from there. This is also just a first layer of color. I work on the eyes, lips and cheeks. I'm using a beautiful turquoise green and fuchsia for this.
While that dries, I work on the birds using the same colors as before, plus a beautiful warm green. I put my birds aside and go back to my girl, adding more strands of hair and some shading. Then I feel it looks a bit boring, so I decide to add turquoise and fuchsia to her hair to make it look more interesting. Much better! After I put a bit more color on the cheeks and shoulders, I add a second layer of shading using the light purple. I shade around the eyes, the hairline, under the nose, the chin and the bottom lip. Next I fill in my background with water reactive stamping ink, cover the face and neck and splatter water over my art journal page. I let it sit for a bit and then lift the drops with tissue paper. I decide to add some green to the eyes and then it is time for the finishing details. I've cut out the birds and some flowers and glue them to my page. Now watch me as I add all the final details that bring my girl alive.
really hope you enjoyed this um, this YouTube tutorial and I would love to see your work uh, as well. Please don't forget to tag me if you post online so I can see it. I really enjoy that and um, I would love to see you uh, again someday in one of my classes um, or maybe even live in, in a live class in the Netherlands. So, bye bye!